Hi, Rebuild Mommies and Friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a tour of my refrigerator and freezer. I was inspired to do this video by my sister. She's actually my biological sister. Her name is Dana Holmes, but she goes by the Domestic Naturalista and she has a YouTube channel. So I would encourage you, you know, to check it out if you have some time. She actually inspired me to do this video um, of my refrigerator because I was recently looking at one of her videos and I think it's so cool to, you know, do the grocery hauls. And I've seen other YouTubers as well do the grocery hauls. And it's been plenty of times where I would see an item that they purchase. And I'm like, oh man, I want to try that item. So um, for my viewers and anybody who's new to my channel, hey, how you doing? Uh, today is the day that I will show you what's in my refrigerator. I just recently did my grocery shopping over the weekend. And for me, I actually go to right now, three stores and I don't go to all three of those stores every single week but um usually between Friday and Saturday is when I do my grocery shopping some days I'll go to my main store which here in Charlotte North Carolina is Harris Teeter and so the bulk of my items come from Harris Teeter but there are some items that I um, prefer to get you know some specific brands that I like to buy um, and so I'll either go to Trader Joe's or I'll go to Earth Fair that just opened up um, recently I wish it was just a one-stop shop for me but you know I, I just adjust the way that I can because I know there are certain products that I like you know and especially with um, me just trying to feed my family you know it's trying to be you know healthy conscious or you know just be mindful of you know how we eat and all of that so you may see some items that hey there's some things that we we splurge a little bit over the weekend um and so actually this weekend we had some pizza and so you might see some items in there you know please don't hold it to me that i am just a strict healthy person i'm mindful of it but i do allow us to splurge here and there especially on the weekends you know by the time i get to Friday I'm like okay the kitchen is closed I am done cooking and so we tend to eat out um, but still try to be selective where we eat out but yeah it's some pizza in there I will tell you that but come along with me while I give you a tour of my refrigerator all right so I'm really not even sure where to start I'll just kind of give you all an overall view of what's in here and then I'll probably go shelf by shelf to to highlight some things um, so we'll start over here um, of course this is where we keep our cheese and our butter and um, <laughs> I really had at one point stopped buying a, a lot of butter I'll show you the brand that I started buying but um, since being pregnant and having these different food aversions the vegan but butter that I was using I just couldn't stand it at the moment or at the time um, especially during the first trimester now I could probably tolerate it a lot more but I have still been using butter um, but I try to still be mindful um, to not use as much mainly I use a lot of butter like for our breakfast sometimes and um, for baking if when I do bake I'm not a baker like that um, this is the brand of cheese oh yeah the brand of butter that I buy and bear with me I am holding this camera it is Trader Joe's organic butter and it is unsalted butter um, and then the brand of cheese I'll show you all so this is the brand of cheese that I buy it's um, New Zealand grass-fed sharp cheddar I also get this from Trader Joe's this block usually lasts us um, a while and so you can see the price on there but I I've tried other like grass-fed or organic cheeses and I could tell a difference with the taste and excuse the beeping noise because my refrigerator beeps if the door is left open so I just have to close it and then I'll open it back up down below here um, I have some poppy seed dressing that I bought a while ago well not too long ago it's still it's still good but I haven't used it in a while but I usually put it on salads I think I just had a taste for poppy seed dressing at one point and so I bought that from I think Harris Teeter um, this isn't the brand of jelly that I buy I usually buy Trader Joe's brand but um, I believe 
when I did grocery shopping this particular week, I was not going to Trader Joe's, so I had to get some Welch's. Um, I just try to still be mindful of the ingredients when I do buy this type of brand. Um, and so on the back, for me, it says no artificial flavors, colors or preservatives. And I definitely look at the nutritional facts and especially the ingredients. That's something that you definitely want to look at. So I prefer the Trader Joe's brands because I think they have less ingredients. Um, less ingredients, I think, in a lot of cases are better. I have some biscuits here. Um, they are organic flaky biscuits. Now, just because it says organic does not mean that it's always good for you. But I still try to check the ingredients on everything. And I you know nothing like gave me any red flags or anything but yeah i like biscuits i've been like a biscuit person right now so yeah i kind of just have to you know go along with these cravings from time to time um i have some shredded mozzarella cheese in here um probably had this from last week i forgot what i cooked but that's why that's in there. I don't usually just buy that. Um, it's either for dinner or something. I have ketchup here. Hubby, he likes his A1 sauce. Um, we have some peanut butter here. It's almost out, and I think I already purchased some more, but it's in the pantry still. But yes, it's some organic peanut butter. Definitely want to check out the ingredients on your peanut butter. This says that it has organic peanuts and sea salt. And so, um, very simple, not a whole lot have some garlic right here I just bought this because um one of the items that I'm cooking for dinner well actually I cooked it yesterday um use that and have some apple butter that we picked up when we went to the apple orchard um here I had a taste for some teriyaki I don't usually buy teriyaki sauce but it's there and I think it probably will last a, a good while I love soy sauce whenever I do rice or something like that so um i buy this brand right here they also have an organic brand but i believe that they 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 were out um so i think i got these two things from earth fair this right here is organic creamy ranch and i think i got this from harris teeter but i think earth fair sells this brand as well um back here we got some buffalo sauce because one time i had a taste for some like bang bang shrimp I think that's what it was <laughs> um, some sweet organic sweet pickle relish right there and right here I have some organic lemon garlic um, that's usually good for like seasoning chicken or I don't usually really use this on salad or anything I think I've cooked with it for rice before as well um, I actually haven't used it in a while um, but right here as y'all can see we're not always good um, recently I had a craving for some ice cream with some chocolate syrup and so I bought this brand because I mean this was the only brand in the store um, that was closest to me wanting to to you know try to have some healthiness going on but yeah check the ingredients you know you're probably not gonna always find you know just something that's just complete I mean you can but you know and like don't be so hard on yourself. I have some organic dill chips. These actually look really good like right now I think I want some so I'm gonna leave those out as a reminder <laughs> um, Have some organic mild salsa um, So organic Dijon mustard that feels like it's almost gone lately. I've been craving this um, Simply lemonade with strawberry and as you can see it's almost gone. It's time to refill that but it's so good It's like a thirst quencher for sure have some organic yellow mustard here this is the syrup that we use we used to like buy like Auntie mama and really like a, that's usually like the that was normally the syrup that we would buy but of course after becoming knowledgeable about just you know food and ingredients and food um we started buying organic maple syrup and i mean we like it we've had family over and they're really not a fan of it but you know we eat it in our house um, we have some simply, simply apple, apple juice that I just bought and it's almost gone. We've been like drinking that up too. All right, down here on this shelf, as you can see, I, you, you, you probably know by now that I love this brand, Simply Orange or Simply. Um, so yeah, this is the orange juice brand that we always buy. 
um i think i got another bottle of it up top this is the brand of almond milk that i buy califia farms um i really like this brand i think it was one time where it was something going on with it at the bottom it just wasn't looking right but one thing i'll say about this company is that they they really try to make sure that they provide quality products and so this has been great my husband he, at first was not an almond milk drinker he liked just regular milk and when i tried to transition us to go complete almond milk um, this was the brand that I began to win him over with and so now he drinks it and at one point he had to just have the sweet vanilla but as you can see we have unsweet vanilla and I even actually have um like just a regular almond milk of this brand with you know does not have vanilla and it's not sweetened so we've come a long way another um thirst quencher for myself simply lemonade with raspberry so yeah those are my like my my go-to's right now when i want like some juice or something down here we have some creamer now this isn't i actually um haven't been like i when i when i begin to transition a lot i started using almond milk as my creamer and a little bit of honey and that would suffice for me as far as like my coffee um but these are down here um not because we use them in our house we actually use these um when we do our tuesday night sessions for flow for our ministry flowing life and so we have life and coffee sessions and these these are the creamers that we take there so um don't really use these but you know they're there um cranberry juice um this has actually been down here for a while i think at one point i wanted a lot of cranberry juice i was craving cranberry juice and now that craving has kind of gone away so i don't really have a taste for it and i don't even know if my husband knows this is down here moving on to this part we have a case of water down here we usually make sure we we keep that 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 shelf stocked with water like we're we're really big water drinkers in our house so that's a good thing um here i have some celery that i probably need to throw out it looks a little old y'all pardon me i told y'all i didn't know what was in this refrigerator okay and here have some carrots i just recently used those last night for dinner have a stalk of cauliflower that i probably need to cook before it goes bad um avocados and an onion down here so that's just meal prep type stuff um right here that's that pizza i was telling y'all about along with some breadsticks leftovers we probably need to eat and in this drawer right here this is like where i keep my produce like my fruit and stuff so i have some granny smith some organic granny smith apples i have some other i think these are oh yeah I, i've been like tearing these pears up organic um bartlett pears between the apples and the pears that's been my thing and i started buying these because taylor really likes these now these are just some little buddy oranges that i actually got from earth fair so that's a, a new bag of them down there just pick those up this weekend so me and hubby we like to celebrate you know anytime god does something awesome in our life so i just recently picked this up this is my first time trying this it's um sparkling cranberry juice um and it says dry and when i tasted it it was really dry um so we we had it i think we popped it open one night i think i forgot we were celebrating our anniversary and so i i bought this um and we drunk it but that was just that one night we had it and we haven't opened it anymore but you know we also will pull it out you know anytime we have a, a, a testimony god you know shows off or, or does something blesses us we celebrate and so this is the other bottle of almond milk it um, hasn't been opened yet because we're still getting through the other one. Oh, my lights went out y'all this refrigerator does not play okay all right so down here is like taylor's section she has like fruit cups and her juice that she takes to school um it's an organic um by apple and eve and so it's just really convenient. I wasn't at first a big fan of like box juices, you know, because you hear crazy stuff happening, but 
so far so good haven't had any issues with that and then she has some um, organic unsweetened applesauce from earth fair the juice I get from Harris Teeter you could probably find it in some other stores as well and when I buy fruit cups I think at one point I stopped buying fruit cups but kind of started back only because they do have 100% juice um, I would prefer her to eat like just the regular fruit like fresh fruit but she the only fruit that she eats right now are bananas and the oranges so this you know works because I think she likes to drink the juice too so as long as it's 100% juice I'm okay with it so moving up here Viva chicken that's some more leftovers that we had over the weekend and it, it was really good though like oh my gosh and here goes some more almond milk that I used to cook with I actually made what did I make last night oh I made some broccoli cheddar soup with carrots and so I used this instead of the vanilla kind um, because you don't want your your food tasting like vanilla you know just does not seem right that's sauce from the pizza and the breadsticks some rice right here this is the broccoli cheddar casserole that I made last night and right here are veggie hot dogs that Taylor likes um, when I first started buying these I was kind of still going through my food aversions and all of that and so I could kind of tell you know like I, I wasn't feeling them at first but between hubby and Taylor I said hubby between hubby and Taylor they like them and I think I'm okay with them now so this is a good swap up you know if you don't want to buy regular hot dogs so I do have some vegetable broth I stock up on this because this I do a lot of rice um, and of course for dinner like this comes in handy a whole lot we do have some eggs right here I get my eggs for the most times most of the time I get my eggs from Trader Joe's but there have been times where I haven't been able to make it to Trader Joe's so I will just go to like Harris Teeter or something um, that's some almond milk for Taylor right here I have some vegan gourmet sour cream that I haven't tried yet this is my first time buying this but hopefully you know it's good we shall see if not I won't buy it again I have a lemon right here I always stock up on my spinach right here this is usually the brand that I get um, when I do my get my spinach and I usually get that from either Harris Teeter or Earth Fair. It just depends on where I'm at. This came from the Viva Chicken Place. That's Husby. Hus Husby. He got a new name. That's Husby. Hubby's Juice. <laughs> Y'all pray for me. Okay. So lastly, um, really, we got some more orange juice right here. Same, same brand. Organic blueberries. I like to use these for our oatmeal in the morning time or when I'm making pancakes. And this is the vegan butter I was telling you about. Um, I think I can I can tolerate it now. At one point, I just couldn't, so it was just kind of chilling there, you know, unless hubby used it. But those are all the items in my refrigerator. Now, let me know if y'all have any questions about that. And if we have time, I'm going to show you items in my freezer. And I'll try to make this part quick. I don't have anything over there, just ice packs and stuff. So I haven't made ice cream in a while, but when I was making it, um, cause I didn't want to buy it out the store, you know, I just wasn't feeling those brands and the ingredients. I was making my own, but I haven't made it in a while. But these are some potatoes that I got from Trader Joe's. They've been in there for a while, roasted potatoes with peppers and onions, but something that we can eat for like breakfast when we have time to cook them. I have some organic super sweet corn from Trader Joe's. Just something in there for dinner. Y'all, this is pickle juice. Don't laugh at me, but I like pickle juice. I like frozen pickle juice. And so, yeah, this is just a, a pregnant woman delicacy. <laughs> okay, um, I always buy this brand of waffles. Uh, I like them. Um, Taylor likes them. You know, we, we eat them. These are like some chicken tenders. This is usually Taylor's like lunch for school. Um, so, I, I, she likes those. Oops, I dropped them. She really liked that brand. Like that brand. This is my first time buying this. I do plan to make like a chipotle bowl. So it's meatless, soy, and gluten free. This brand though, they make like these um, 
they're not real chicken patties but they you know they're kind of like supposed to be like chicken patties and they're really good so i was like okay let me try this kind um to put like in a chicken bowl um i haven't tried these yet but gardein they're the same people who make these vegan chicken tenders and so i'm gonna give them a try i've tried beyond meat and i'm not a fan of it and i don't know if that's because of my pregnancy throwing me off or what oh man i forgot we had these these are some spring rolls i think i want to make some of these like right now i'm getting hungry as y'all can see we got some french fries some organic yukon select fries i'll pull those out with the hot dogs whenever and got some broccoli bites i don't think taylor's a real fan of those i haven't tried them personally <laughs> Now, this is the brand of ice cream that I've been buying lately. I haven't tried the almond milk kind, but I do love the cashew milk kind. I'm not a fan of the coconut milk, um, so I have to go right now to get this from Earth Fair because Harris Teeter only sells the So Delicious coconut milk brand, and I'm not a fan of that. So, yeah, this is the brand of ice cream I buy. It's dairy-free. These things are so delicious. Whole fruit, frozen juices. Um, frozen juice and this I believe I got from Harris Teeter we got some frozen fruit back here strawberry some broccoli um, I get my my brown rice right here it's a box of it you just pop it in I think it comes with three in a bag and came from Trader Joe's some more frozen fruit back there I think some broccoli right here okay another pack of those whole fruit juice bars some peas some more corn and that that I get the I get jasmine rice and brown rice and so whenever depending on what I'm cooking and what I feel like eating so this came from Trader Joe's as well all right you all so those are the items that are in my refrigerator and my freezer hope that you enjoyed this video if you have questions be sure to drop them in the box the, below the comments box below and i will definitely get back to you on those questions um but yeah thank you for watching another revamp mommy video thank you always for your love and your support and until next time make sure you all keep the revamp going and yeah just a side note baby is doing great still um and another update should be coming in the next let's see maybe two two weeks i would say so make sure you all stay tuned bye